hello viewers welcome to a brand new video in js and rs solution channel hope you are doing great today i will show you how you can create a buffer area for a project for instance you know the project boundary but how you can identify the environmental or any disaster impact zone during the construction and operation phase in this video i'm gonna show you how you will create that zone of influence for any project using google earth and the proximity tool of arcgis first open google earth and then go to your project location you can add a project layout or you can draw uh, the project boundary here so i'm going to uh, draw my project boundary and i'm going to name it as project boundary and from a style and color i'm changing the color have selected rate and the width uh, two and then i'm um, drawing here is the project boundary The drawing uh, project boundary has done. Now I will uh, save this uh, project boundary. Right click and then save places as and then save as type KMZ and then save. So here is my saved file. Now open up uh, ArcGIS. I will convert uh, this KMZ file as layer. So for that, go to conversion tools and then KML to layer, and open KML to layer and uh, input KML file, and then output location. You can save the output location in your uh, PC uh, where you want to save. So I'm going to create a folder. project and then click ok there's the project boundary you can see uh, it uh, in base map anyway uh, i'm going to uncheck and then i will uh, save this as shape file so for doing that uh, right click on polygon uh, polyline and then data output file save output file your uh, folder you can change the name i'm going to name it as project uh, boundary and save as type shape file and then click save and ok yes i'm removing this file anyway here is my uh, project boundary shape file now i'm going to create a buffer area the influence zone so for doing that uh, go to analysis tool and then proximity from proximity tool uh, you will find here the buffer then click on buffer and using this tool uh, you can actually identify or you can uh, uh, create the buffer zone two kilometer or any uh, uh, measure value field from distance you can select here uh, unit kilometer meter or any unit so i'm going to uh, create uh, in kilometer so first of all uh, i will going uh, i'm going to uh, create two kilometer buffer zone and then click ok here is the uh, zone of influence uh, from my project site uh, i have selected two kilometer you can create uh, as per your uh, project impact 
or your uh, requirements then again uh, i'm going to create the buffer uh, for five kilometer anyway uh, input feature uh, will be project boundary and then you can select distance uh, i have selected uh, kilometer and then five five kilometer influence zone from the project boundary make it hollow okay you can change the outline color so here is the five kilometer uh, buffer five kilometer distance uh, from the uh, project boundary and uh, it is a uh, two kilometer distance from project boundary uh, now i'm going to create 500 meter uh, buffer then click ok where is the 500 meter buffer 500 uh, meter distance from project uh, site 500 you can check it using a uh, base map also you can add here uh, your uh, study area shape file to check uh, in who is location Anyway, now uh, I will uh, convert this uh, layer into KML file so that I can see in uh, Google Earth. For that, uh, go to 2KML and then layer to KML. So, select layer. So, first I'm going to select 500 meter. You can save uh, the output file in your uh, folder. Then click save and ok 500 meter buffer in kmz file has been done similarly uh, i'm going to uh, create another 5 kilometer or for 2 kilometer kmz Five kilometers, then save and then OK. Five kilometer has been done, KMZ, and then two kilometer. File name two kilometer and then OK. Now I will check. Two kilometer, five kilometer, and five hundred kilometer that I have created. Uh, well, it is the five kilometer uh, buffer, and then two kilometer, and then five hundred meter. Selection of zone of influence is uh, very much important for a project especially for the establishment of an industry you can easily identify the influence uh, zone in creating buffer as per the impact intensity of a project if you can fix this buffer for your project then you can identify the probable negative impacts that can be spread out from your project location and it helps to take proper mitigation measures anyway hope this video will help you a lot to perform creating a zone of influence based on the project impacts thank you for being with gs and rs solution channel